Swain, how's she doing? Oh, look, she's She's doing phenomenal. Excellent. Believe me, best education ever. And watched McNabb and Marvin Harrison, the whole deal, all those years. We loved it up there. And Steens, Jones, Keller, Falter, I think by the end of the year, these four guys are going to put it together. But what's putting me to sleep right now is Hayes up at bat. Oh, my God. Looks like, he, looks like he's asleep. Okay, yep. we need an outfielder. We need an outfielder that can hit other than Reynolds and help these pitchers score runs to win games. That's what I'm concerned about. Yeah, the, the, thanks, Vince. I think lost in the Tellez debate, which has died down because he's hitting 400 in June and tacked on a couple RBIs yesterday, so he's not persona non grata anymore. And you've got other things that drive you nuts, like horrible catcher play. Davis still can't figure it out. Then he gets hurt. The Grandal play on Saturday. Sawinski striking out just about every time he's at bat. I think finally now, Pirates fans have shifted their attention to Hayes and how last year's hot finish now seems like a total mirage. And... Probably the most disconcerting thing is that offensive struggles seem to be following him to the field, or maybe it's vice versa. Like, he just, maybe the fact that he's not making gold glove plays every night defensively hurts him at the dish. I don't know. But I would agree that all around, he just does not look anywhere close to the guy he was in August and September of last year. And he started the season like he was ready to take off. That contract extension started to look like a bargain again last year at the beginning of this year, and now it doesn't. Now it looks like we're stuck with a light-hitting, slick-fielding, in air quotes, third, third baseman. I would give his defensive play at third about a B this year, and it's supposed to be an A+.